With every seat filled and the room packed, one by one, each person took to the podium speaking out on the city's looming budget woes. I can tell you as a, as a board member for Brightside and also as an employee of Passport Health Plan, uh, right now is not the most fun time to be a nonprofit based in Louisville. A tough decision ahead for Metro Council as they weigh at least two options to fill a $65 million budget gap over the next four years. That's due to a growing state-mandated pension bill. Those proposals either to cut hundreds of Metro jobs and services or raise taxes. Now the politicians want us to pay for it, to fix it via more taxation. I say it's wrong. Please consider that the Louisville libraries are already underfunded and look elsewhere to fill your budget gap. We are already doing our part. We can't afford any cuts. In fact, we need an investment. Um, we've been going seven months now without a contract, and I'm genuinely worried about where this department, where the city, and where our public safety will be. It's the second public hearing on the issue. 76 people voicing their concerns Monday night. That's about 30 more people than the first public hearing. The crowd growing as a deadline for Metro Council to take action with a vote nears. Whatever means you come up with to solve the pension obligation is something you'll have to decide. But I'm here tonight to tell you to leave us alone. We've sacrificed, we've given, while other Metro departments have grown. We can't take another hit. Now Metro Council will have until March 21st to pass an ordinance. Reporting live downtown, I'm Trey Ward, WOKY News.